Now I'm going to show the gate and CV control modifications I made. This here is for your gate. And you will see I have a sequencer right here to provide the gate signal. Where's my gate? I can hear it gating on these two steps. Turn them off, get one, every other, every step. And of course you can set your resonance and initial cutoff. So that's the gate. It doesn't quite work exactly like a normal synth. I mean, you're not going to get all the different cool effects, the attacks and decay for your gate, but it makes it a lot more musical than what it used to be, I believe. Now we'll provide a control voltage to this input here, which controls the wacky frequency on voice A. You can hear it. I made it control the wacky frequency instead of the weird frequency because the wacky frequency you can get two effects out of it. You get its own frequency sound or you can use this to control the hard sync to the weird frequency which now your hard sync can uh, get some modulation on it. And this is for voice B, it's the same thing. I'll actually leave A plugged in, we'll plug in B also. Now you're hearing voice B come in. And this mod, these two, these three mods here, your, your CV mod and your gate mod, to, like I said before, I believe it adds a lot of functionality, so. These instruments too, don't ever treat these like a, a Moog or a Roland or anything else. These are lo-fi, sloppy, grainy noise boxes, but you can make them sound soft or harsh, whatever you want. And then also, let's go ahead and stop the sequencer and you can see now how that's affecting the pitch. We'll un unplug A and now we'll just modify uh, uh, this sound here. And this, this here just, just stays the same. What we're actually modifying here is this. Real quick rundown anyways, all works well, ready to be shipped out. Cheers.